Grow your cleaning business. Make more money. Have more time. This is the Profit Cleaners Podcast with your hosts, Brandon Condry and Brandon Shane. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Profit Cleaners. You are in the place to be learning from the top 1% of cleaning business owners from around the world to up-level your business, take your game to the next level, and win. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Brandon Shane, and I'm joined by my co-host, the sp- Brandon Conner. That's right, the spreadsheet ninja, the numbers magician, the... Uh, the amazing partner of mine that we're growing this amazing cleaning business with and having so much fun. And speaking of fun, we're going to talk about some fun company holiday party ideas and just some ways to be building some awesome employee culture, bring some fun into your business. Uh, Guys, this all kind of centers around the fact that entrepreneurs are going to change the world through customer experiences, how you make people feel. And you know, that is what we're selling, guys, is creating happiness, creating experiences for your customers, for your employees, for the people around you, your family, whoever it might be. But in this case, we're going to talk about in this episode just some ideas and some past experiences that we've had in this specific time of the year, the holiday party that we throw every year for the teams. And um, kind of where this stemmed from was our mentor in Denver, Corby. He does this every year and always makes it a, a blast and it's really fun. Um, we've touched on this a little bit in the past with Corby and the culture stuff, but we just went, kind of want to re- reiterate this time of year, um, maybe some ideas for you guys and, and what you can do to create that loyalty, create that happiness, that culture in, in your employees and make, make sure they're you know feeling like they're part of the team. They're having fun. They're happy. You know, that's what we're, that's what we're getting at. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, I mean, Corby is our mentor. We modeled stuff after him. So, Corby, you know, had told us originally that the house party, they usually, they do it on a weekday. They cancel the first couple houses so everyone can kind of relax. And then there's, they hand out cash bonuses for the cleaners at the end of the year. And then, you know, they do some food. It's at a venue. Corby most recently hired a mariachi band, which I thought was really fun (laughs) to, like, see that they did so there's live music there at those shows and probably some dancing and things like that yeah i think they had like so, a potluck they, they have a bunch of food um they have yeah it was mariachis and music it was like outrageous you know but it was super fun it was like makes you laugh and makes you be like man i want to be part of that like that looks awesome <laughs> so yeah so we try to duplicate that so mm-hmm. we'll just we'll just give you the chronology of of how our parties have gone down over the years yep. i remember the first year that we did it when we were very small i think we had may have only been two teams at the time we went to a local mexican restaurant yep. and we did it in the morning before work we canceled the things we kind of surprised them like hey we're going to get food mm-hmm. and so we went to this restaurant we booked a little private room there and we all got breakfast burritos and what ended up happening was that it wasn't the let's all sit around and be friends thing that i wanted from corby's business a i don't speak spanish and there were some of our employees that don't speak english and b we just all sat around a table and ate breakfast and people were staring at their phones the whole time. It was <laughs> odd. Yeah. We handed out money and envelopes, but we were brand new. I think we gave people like 50 bucks. That was all we could swing back then. Yeah. So people were super happy. I mean, it was, it was, you know, anytime you can give a, a bonus of any type of gift or anything, people are gonna be happy. But yeah, it was, it was a very awkward, uh, you know, little, we, we didn't really know what we were doing. We were trying to make it fun, but it was like, people weren't really having it and and that culture wasn't really there yet we were still trying to build that culture and that fun right but we were trying was the point yeah if we did nothing it would have been right so we the next year evolved a little bit okay now we'll do it at the office and we had one of the employees at the time ran a catering company on the side Mm -hmm. and so she we hired her to cater it with some food i think there was a gift exchange and it was really mellow in the office and it was a little bit faster mm-hmm. and that one went better there were more people hanging out and there was some music and it was fun yeah um and i just want to make a side note here like what how we're doing this is normally and this is how corby does it too like we actually section off like part of the morning like where we move all the clean yeah, back yeah. in the day so there's no cleans happening in the morning like there's time for this party to happen and no one's stressed out yeah we have them come in early they come in at 7 30 you know, two or three weeks in advance, we would have told the customers like, hey, we're doing our annual holiday party, so we need to move you, you know, to a different spot or whatever. And mm-hmm. everyone's always fine with that. It usually works out just yeah. fine. So the next year, Brandon and I bought 
these wrapping paper suits at Target. They're like the suit version of an ugly sweater. Yeah. And we had them tailored. We actually took them to a tailor so they fit. Yep. And that one was funner. That one was a bigger one. There was a gift exchange. And, you know, we got like hoots and hollers and we <laughs> came down from upstairs in our little suits and stuff. And so that was kind of cool. Yep. And it, but then it was like the same thing. And so this year we actually asked the employees if they wanted a holiday party and everyone said no <laughs> and the reason that they said no was that our trainer had assumed that it was going to be on a weekend and told them that it was going to be on a weekend and everyone said no and i told her like we're doing it i'll put you in charge but we're going to do it during the week just like we've done every other time we'll be totally fine i was like that's where we hand out you know a little we give cash like we give 100 150 dollars in envelopes to all the cleaners uh, you know as like a thank you for the year and because it's under the 1099 threshold it's just an expense on the company so it's totally fine so this year <clears throat> we gave reina uh, a budget you know like here's 1500 bucks do what you can so here's what she came up with and i think this is great the way she put it together because it's not how i would have done it i would have called a bunch of vendors and it would have cost four times as much reina just used her personal network huh. so with that with that money i think it was a thousand dollars actually she has purchased a bunch of door prizes so it's like a makeup kit and a this and a that and a hairdryer and some stuff and these are things that she knows the employees like slash one and we're playing a bunch of silly games during this party it's going to be semi inside outside for you know social distancing reasons these days but we're going to play there's like ring toss with a bunch of cornhole boards lined up so that you know the further one you get in the bigger prize you win uh reina got a pinata so we have a pinata that's stuffed with um I think it's stuffed with like hand creams and things like that. It's not like candy. It's like things that adults would like. Okay. So we're going to do a pinata. She got some tables and chairs that are going to get set up back there. She got a caterer who's coming in and doing tacos. So not, not breakfast tacos like I would have gone out and tried to find with eggs and stuff. Nope. Just straight Mexican food, which is going to be delicious, I'm sure. I think we're getting some horchata in there. We're going to have some music going on on a speaker not a live music but you know it's just a couple hours to kind of hang back we'll hand out cash and envelopes again uh they get some food you know some laughs will be had at the games and when people swing at this pinata and it's not a huge thing to do but i do think it's fun if you do it right so people have the the dreaded corporate holiday party where someone drinks too much and hits on you or whatever like this is not that it's in the morning it's relatively quick they get some breakfast and some cash and then they head out for the day and you know have a good work day and uh you know we we told them that we really appreciate what they do that they they really make the business come together and you want to show them that they're not just uh machines and uh, cogs in a machine yeah they're integral to the whole thing and you want to treat them like that. absolutely and some of the things you know we'll, we'll we usually do handwritten cards and everyone signs them and you know a thank you a personal message from the staff um, for every one of the teams and um you know it'll it'll get better every every, every year i'm sure you know, corby who's been doing this now almost 20 years when he's got live musicians and mariachis and bigger caterers and other stuff going on i mean that's obviously you know they're much bigger and they've, they've they've grown you know to this you know kind of this advanced version of it we're still we're still trying to make ours better and better and better but i do think that's a, a huge key as we let reina kind of run with it this year and um you know our no, we're different than you know if you're in australia or somewhere else in the world that you might not you might have a different labor pool um so you got to know your culture and your teams and your employees and what they like you know, a lot of our employees that show up do speak Spanish, and, and so we got to cater to the, you know, the Hispanic culture and a lot of the native culture that we have here in, in New Mexico. Um, that, that, you know, that would mean they do like, you know, a certain type of food. And they, you know, a lot of times when, when Brandon and I come at stuff like this, it's like, well, we think we would want these kind kind of breakfast burritos, but actually, you're like, you're like you're saying, they want this type of specific food or something that we never even had heard of, right? And, um, yeah, yeah. We, we tried to do this just on a side note. We tried to do this another time with um, kind of like a healthy snack box, learning to bring like healthy snacks into the office. <laughs> and it totally blew up in her face because like everyone. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, like everyone wanted like, the, I don't know what it was, Brandon. It was like this special box that was like all these like special Mexican chips. and. I wonder if they're still out there. There was this company <laughs> called Snack Nation, I think is what it was called. And I they were aggressively advertising on a bunch of podcasts that I listened to at the time. And yeah. So, we signed up with them and what it was is you get a little cardboard display rack in there and they're a silicon valley company right so 
their whole approach was we'll send you healthy stuff it's gonna be like organic chips and this and that and we did it for a while on a trial it was affordable it was totally doable we were just trying to let the employees know that we care about them mm-hmm. and finally one of them was like listen this is great but can you get us the stuff from mexico <laughs> and i was like what are you talking about and so she came in with a list of things that i have never even seen in my life these are things that you get at like a mexican convenience store like the mexican equivalent of like bugles and it's all these weird candies that have spices in them and stuff <laughs> and so i did go down a rabbit hole trying to find someone who would do it and we just it never materialized for us so no. it was the right idea it was the wrong product for yeah. our company for our employees it's just not what they wanted so we were just throwing money away and you'd find like i remember one time there was it was like unsalted unroasted peanuts which are like the healthiest for you but nobody touched right. it. there was just that was what was left at the end of the yeah month. so in the end we canceled it and i think we bought them nice water bottles instead but yeah just try and keep those things in mind from a company culture perspective so through a holiday party we want to get in the habit, I think, in the future of doing something around the anniversary of the company. Mm-hmm. So that's the 5th of July. So it's like our personal Independence Day is when we started that company. So I want to get to the point, logistically, if we can pull it off, where we take a whole week off and everybody gets paid vacation. Everyone takes some time off and just, you know, thank you for being here. Thank you for doing this for the company. Yeah. We'll see if we can ever pull that off from a customers not liking having cleaning for a whole week every year. You just won't have it that week but yeah anyway these are these are things that you can keep in mind it's not all numbers and profit and expenses sometimes you got to have some fun and give away some money and it's gonna you don't get anything monetarily out of doing something like this but you get to see a bunch of people smile and have fun Mm -hmm. you have some good food together it's a you know it's your little group it's your tribe that's eating together like that is a thing Mm -hmm. that humans have done for a long time and i think it's cool to be facilitator of that absolutely it's that it's that experience that you're creating and it can be in any way that you see fit for your brand and your company whatever resonates with your people right but figure out something that you can do to celebrate and reward them and show gratitude and thank them and in in a personalized way too you know you know a handwritten thing uh, maybe you could recognize certain employees during that time and say you know this employee was the hardest worker or achieved xx and this and whatever just make sure you're calling that out um and i think through that experience and through those bonds that you're building it's the same thing that you do with customers guys but it's like your teams like you want your teams to be loyal you want to have less employee turnover so how do you do that you make them feel like you genuinely care about them and you and you extend grace to them and you extend love and compassion and whatever way you can do to serve your employees and show them like hey we're gonna have fun we're gonna be happy together we're gonna laugh together we're gonna you know corby always talks about the office as like this sanctuary that they create that's like this special place that the ladies come and you know they leave their home issues and their home life behind whatever problems are happening and they can come to the safe place where you know they can do their job and they can be happy and um, that's that's you know another layer of it is you want it to be this amazing place that this amazing environment that you create and the structure you set up for your your teams that really allows for that to happen and and you know i think just in seeing us do that over the years um even just the coffee truck that we have every month at the company meetings and things like that just seeing that congregation like everyone's out you know uh breaking bread or drinking something together hanging out talking it, it brings that community you know about and it brings that experience and if your employees know that you care about them, they feel that, and they feel that not just through, you know, you're paying them well, but you're also going above and beyond to take care of them in other ways. Um, that goes a really long way, and that's what we're trying to do with our customers all day long. We're going to be doing another episode about that really soon, guys, about creating amazing customer experiences and how you can do that more and more. But you know, how can you do that with your employees? So that's that's what we're talking about here. So if you haven't already put together something like that, you know, a holiday party or a New Year's party or something just to celebrate people and just thank them for their hard work and bring that, solidify that loyalty with your teams um, and that camaraderie. I mean, they're working together all day long anyways, like, you know, going through the, the trenches together, working hard. So, you know, just bring an element of fun to it. Make them, make them laugh and bring some happiness. That's what Corby always talks about. I love that element. So um, if, if your teams are happy, your customers are going to feel that. So... Yeah, absolutely. So there you go, guys. That's our culture employee little <laughs> blurb, you know, for the holiday Christmas party, whatever you want to call yeah. it. 
but you know take it back and run with it see what you can come up with or you know what after this hit us up on facebook did you find this interesting leave us a comment somewhere that says this is what we do for all Harley yeah. and Marty and this is why it's so cool absolutely. so that would be really interesting to see how you guys absolutely it. and as always guys a little housekeeping to finish off the show if you get if you're getting any value out of this show guys we're going to have lots more value in the future but if this show or any of the past shows has helped shift perspective given you new knowledge new strategies new ideas maybe made you laugh whatever it is just share the value you know should pay it forward and share the show if you, if you didn't get any value then don't share the show you know like it is what it is <laughs> you know like but but uh if you didn't get any value please let us know why you didn't get any value. yeah there you go but, but yeah <laughs> leave a review give us a shout out tell someone about it and um I think that's it. And we want to wish you guys a happy holiday season. Let you guys know how grateful we are for you. And as we close out 2021, just, just, uh, yeah, share, share with you guys. We're so grateful for you. We're thankful for all the emails, all the messages you write into us to share how we're impacting your business and your lives and helping you grow. So yeah, that impacts us in huge ways. Uh, every single one of you is super important to us and we want to make sure we're all on this train together. So uh, thank you guys for, for being with us on this journey. And until next time, keep it clean. Thanks for joining us today. To get more info, including show notes, updates, trainings, and super cool free stuff, head over to ProfitCleaners.com. And remember, keep it clean.